Santa Micaiah. Wild Thing. 13 Black. So another chance for the 13 Black and Dan Tom Keir team there and the Adams family and Wild Thing. Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the house robots, a killer lot. Ready to trundle and rumble and dead metal. Three, two, one. Brilliant sportsmanship from the rest of the Roboteers to put Wild Thing back together again as Dan Tom Gear, the missing link, now return, comes in, vents off a little bit of steam and immediately is on the attack and looking much more impressive, taking on 13 black. One of those discs repaired with a little bit of sticky tape, it would seem. Dan Tom Gear very much on the prowl, smashing onto 13 black. Looking to come again, Wild Thing being thrust away. Looking the lightweight of these machines, Wild Thing at the moment. Reach the first round of the semi final series, 5 13. Black meanwhile takes a terrific pounding there. And Wild Thing, they're being crumpled and munched by dead metal. I think Wild Thing's totally out of it, but Dan Tonkier played a major part with that shove on 13 Black. Then the flick, down it came with a crunch. Wild Thing then drove itself onto the flipper of Dan Tonkier, and in came Dead Metal, and the sparks flew. The blade is turning, but there's no one at home, Wild Thing. 13 Black, I think, is that it's. End as well, Dan Tonkier trying to. Oh! Wild Thing is driven straight into the bit. Dan Tonkier just pressed the release button. Wild Thing unawares, drove themselves onto it. Nick and Isabel Adams have gone out at the semi final stage of Robot Wars for the fourth time. 13 Black, surely to. <laughs> How can you smile when you've worked. <laughs> So hard on your machine. <laughs> what are they doing out there? It's great fun. All that work. <laughs> great stuff. In defeat, a smile. And so <laughs> some sort of dance. Yeah, well, the, the slogan is spin to win, coined by the Hypnodisc Rose family originally and the Wild Thing team and the 13 Black Boys are heading out of the series semi-final. Beaten twice then in the initial battle in the semi and here in the losers' melee. And Dan Tomkia looks much stronger now, don't you agree? Link back in place. And the full bottle pressure flipper seems to be working. They want the pit. You can hear the crowd crying. I think... Dan Tonkia want 13 Black out of the arena. Just as they flipped Mighty Mouse earlier on in the series and Chaos 2. 13 Black wants none of it. And he's still mobile and he's still a threat with those two spinners. And it's got in underneath Dan Tonkia. Once again, they're wedged on a grinder. That's the second time we've seen that. Not too clever, is it? So Killalot's there. Dead Metal briefly. He's retreated to have a run, I think, at Dan Tomkia. Just away. 13 Black comes in. That's a strong onslaught from 13 Black. When it crosses the arena like that, it's travelling at 20 miles an hour. But he's just left himself broadside on for a Dan Tomkia shove. And 13 Black goes over yet again. And we've seen. Though they claim they're invertible, they can run upside down. <laughs> it's hardly quick progress. Dan Tomkia, one or two shots more. Six. It's going to go to the judges, this. I don't think they'll have too much work to do to decide the winner.